South Korea's domestically developed KF-21 Boramae is emerging as a potential candidate for India's multi-role fighter aircraft MRFA, program, as New Delhi looks to address ongoing gaps in its combat air fleet. According to Indian defense media reports published on August 1, the KF-21 is being evaluated amid growing interest from the Indian Air Force IAF, in acquiring both 4.5 and 5th generation fighters. The South Korean jet is viewed as a cost-competitive platform with future growth potential and compatibility with India's domestic industrial policy. Developed by Korea Aerospace Industries Kai, the KF-21 is a twin-engine, 4.5-generation multirole fighter equipped with advanced avionics, including an AESA radar, infrared search and track, IRST, electronic warfare systems, and modern weapons integration. The aircraft is powered by two General Electric F-414, 400K engines and offers a top speed of Mach 1.8, a combat radius of approximately 1,500 nautical miles, and a maximum payload of up to 7,700 kg. South Korea began developing the KF-21 in 2011 to replace its aging F-4 and F-5 fleets. Although originally intended as a fifth-generation stealth aircraft, the program was adjusted to field a 4.5-generation configuration first, due to operational urgency. The aircraft is now in the flight testing phase, and the first deliveries to the Republic of Korea Air Force are expected in 2026. India is reportedly considering acquiring 60 advanced 4.5-generation fighters while simultaneously pursuing fifth-generation platforms, including the indigenous AMCA. The KF-21 modular design, future upgrade roadmap, including a planned Block 3 variant with internal weapons bay and stealth coatings, and compatibility with twin-engine naval variants may offer strategic appeal. One of the key advantages highlighted in the Indian press is engine commonality. The KF-21 uses the same F-414 engine type selected for India's Tejas MK-2 and AMCA programs. If India proceeds with large-scale production of the F-414 under license, this could simplify logistics, maintenance, and operational integration for the KF-21. Another factor is the aircraft's potential compatibility with India's Make in India Defense Manufacturing Initiative. If selected, the KF-21 could be assembled or co-produced in India, and its open architecture may allow for the integration of locally developed systems such as the UTAM AESA radar and Astra air-to-air -air missiles, provided agreements on source code access and software integration are reached. As of mid-2025, the estimated unit price of the KF-21 ranges from $87 million to $110 million including engines, placing it below competitors such as the Rafale, Su-57 and F-35.